Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today will be um, a video to follow up on my bugle bag video that I made of maybe yesterday for you or two days ago for you. Depends on when I upload this. But um, here I have my cooking, my current cooking set thing, my jig. Because previously, you know, I have um, a mess tin a mess tin and a Tommy cooker with some solid fuel so yeah and um, this will be an add-on to that so here I have my cutlery basic fork and spoon which I'll be changing to titanium spork once I manage to get the spork and I have a few uh, toothpicks with um, a roll uh, electrical tape around it to fasten it I, ha I put an extra tab on the so on the toothpick so you can pull it out as anytime you want so um, next I have some tea um, here I have a packet of milk tea from Lipton it tastes really good I guess so this is instant milk tea and uh, yeah so you have to pour it into hot water to you know dissolve it and here I have a lifesaver it's um Helmig's ginger tea or cur curcumin I guess so this thing prevents um, mouth inflammation so if you have ulcers or anything like that, you drink this. Um, it also helps to keep your liver healthy. And um, yeah, so this one is better with cold water, so it's good. Um, so a uh, suggested daily dosage is three sachets, but I do not drink this too often. And this uh, is just a cooling drink. I have four packets of these. And six packets of the Lipton. So this is a really nice ginger tea that's cold and you know refreshing. So next I have I have six packets, but I only brought out I only put three packets here. Uh, I have six packets of these Meiji um, crackers. Yes, crackers. So they are salty, but they are nutritious. And this thing, I can survive on two packets per day if I ration it. Remember that you can only ration food and not water, because if you drink too little water, you'll faint or you'll die. And uh, next up, I have McDonald's um, chili sachets, which are garlic chili, which is good as hell. So. I have, uh, let's see, nine packets of these inside here because I'm too lazy to pack too many of them. And next up, I have Singaporean version of the bear, ba the bear bags. Bear bags. So this is basically a giant Ziploc bag that can be used to put in all your junk so you don't attract animals like boars in Singapore. But there are no bears here, so... Maybe there is, I don't know. But it's to keep animals away from the smell. So, yeah. And uh, if you do not know how a bear bag works, uh, you could go on to... What's his name? Um, the Outdoor Gear Review. He, he uses a bear bag very often. So, next up, I have something really common in campers. So, this is some coffee and this is some brown sugar that I use. I do not use white sugar too much because I like brown sugar better. Um, in case you're asking what coffee this is, it's Nescafe Gold. So these can't come about, um, there's no price tag here, but most of the time they come about 10 bucks per bottle like this. In America, you could get it for much cheaper. I do not know if they sell these, but they sell coffee, which is much cheaper. And I have an alternative to caffeine if I do not want too much intake of caffeine. I have some Milo, which is Singaporean version of hot chocolate, I would say. Um, this could be made into a cool drink, which is much nicer. 
So this is a very nutritious drink. It helps um, athletes in Singapore. They do they do use it. So this is Milo. It's made by Nestle. If you know Honey Stores, they are from Nestle as well. So these are really nutritious. I'm going to put my knee there so this thing can be stable. And uh, you could take a read on that. You could pause the video and read it. But it's basically really nutritious and it helps a lot. When I'm going out to camping, this is gonna, you know, help me in some ways. So next up, I have uh, an announcement to make. Um, please do not buy this Smith & Wesson Karambit, Extreme Opt Karambit, because this thing is not going to last. I have not used this much except for cutting um, a pieces of paper or packages. And uh, the liner lock is failing already. Look at this. Okay. Okay, this is closed. That is open. I open it closer to the mic so you can hear it. And this thing is basically becoming very weak. So, look at this. Okay, click. I'm pulling backwards so, it, so it's a fair test. So, yeah. This thing got me cut. If you can see... Yeah, you can... I think you can see it. The little cut there that thing I was trying to you know I was meddling with it a bit and then after that I was trying to test the lock and this thing came down on me like a hailstorm and the thing just cut my finger and do not buy this knife or a defensive knife or for EDC knife because this thing is crap and it's gonna get you killed rather than save your life um, this is the only Smith & Wesson product I'm not happy with for the time being because this is the, the second or the first one I got this is the second Smith & Wesson item I got so basically after that incident I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more Smith & Wesson lives like too much of them except for the Homeland Security which has very nice reviews so this is the Smith & Wesson knife uh, this has not given me any problems yet as you can see it's a rack tank so I don't know if it will last but I will go and exchange it if it breaks yeah, um, Smith & Wesson is not known for their knives, they're more known for their guns, which are awesome, but I mean, I watch reviews on them, I don't fire them and anything, because, you know, illegal in Singapore, sad. And um, that's basically it, I'll be updating more of my survival stuff on the, my bugger bag, and I will be reviewing more stuff. Thank you, Herman Chan. Thank you, the shooting guy, for linking my channel to his. And thank you, uh, Edge Weapons, I think that's his name. He makes awesome videos. Thank you for sharing my channel. And thank you all for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.